A good learning, first of all, has to be like a volcano exploding inside the students and the teachers because they are eager to teach and eager to learn. So it's uh, the, best, the best job in the world, the one that we have, because we really need to transform how education is going on. A good learning is going to happen only if those students leave the school feeling that their lives will be different because they are ready to be personal directors of their future. Good learning is the ability to increase your freedom and to increase your abilities and your contribution to the world. I think we have to give more freedom to students uh, across the globe and invite them to contribute to the world. There could not be any education system that is efficient if we are not co-designing the solution with the learners. I think student voice is crucial for educational re reforms. I think it's very important to learn from students what they think, what their interests are, what, what do they want to achieve from education. Uh, I think students have uh, the right to ask, have the right to have very high expectations from educational systems, and it's very important to listen to them as they have the first-hand experience. We should no longer be having education systems where children are seen and not heard. Um, we want young people to grow up, to be responsible citizens, to be able to participate in the world of work. We know that the world is a, a fast change in place, so our young people uh, should be cherished, they should be nurtured, they should of course be challenged, but they should also be cared for. I think it's critical that children have fun, that children learn to love learning um, and to be engaged and, and to want to be at school. I believe that for us to advance knowledge and continue to develop the human species, then curiosity is you know, a particular capacity that we need to develop. And that is required for learning and that is required for teaching. The most important resource of any country, in my opinion, it's the human resource. Obviously, great teachers is at the cornerstone of any wonderful education. And I think we can all think back to those teachers that changed our lives. More and more so with the access to knowledge in so many different places now beyond the classroom, it's what do we do with that knowledge? How do we take that knowledge and help our children work together to solve problems? We are also redefining the role of the main agent of change, who is the teacher. So I'm very op optimistic about the future of the education mainly in the next five years because we are creating really successful and best practice at a global level. I think a good education must provide students and citizens with a social responsibility to endure the challenges of their environment, of the country, to solve the problems of themselves, of their fellow citizens, and to um, bring the country to a better success. L'éducation, c'est d'abord une éducation accessible à tout le monde, une éducation de qualité, une éducation qui fait focus sur les opportunités d'emploi pour les jeunes, les opportunités aussi de formation à la recherche pour les jeunes, Une éducation qui permet à notre pays et à l'Afrique de faire face aux défis de l'émergence économique et des besoins des populations de notre continent et de notre pays. The school experience is supposed to set a pace to induct the learner into a, a, an environment or into a lifelong capacity to confront whatever challenges, whatever realities that they may come along as they grow up. Good education is one that enables everyone to change his or her own destiny. And by destiny, I mean, sadly, what is determined by our socioeconomic origin. So good education is one that enables every child in the country or in the world to be able to do what he or she wants with his or her life. I'd come from a background where education is probably denied through um, lack of access to education. So for me, education does, um, it does open your mind and, and allows you to be less insular. 
people that come from lower socioeconomic contexts have less opportunities to access good education, good learning, and also to make a better life and change their context. I would uh, basically like to see the kids who don't have uh, quality education having the same facilities that uh, are found, uh, for example, in the, in the first world in terms of uh, physical infrastructure, in terms of uh, technology, in terms of uh, qualified teachers uh, that are able to deliver that quality education. I want all out-of-school children aged 5 to 9 into schools. I want to provide them with quality education. For me, it's the resources, it's the paucity of resources because the commitment is there, the drive is there. What you see a lot in emerging countries and economies is access. We don't have those issues. What we have to focus on, however, is quality and consistency. Um, we have many pockets of excellence, but ensuring that every child, no matter what context they're in, has access to the best of what you offer across the board. Wizarat Marif Afghanistan Felan Bernamahoi Ziodi Dar Plan Hai Aindi Hodara, Kumidwara Stumbotat Bikazunha, Kaifieti Marif Afghanistan Behbut Pay Dabukana, Wahamchanan, Tedo de Ziodi as Shagardai Moke, Harjas Maktavastan, Betonan Zamini Dars, Berezuna, Farahamsha, Uno. So education is a uniting factor because for today we are becoming a global village and today the barriers that always keep people apart in terms of communication, those kind of gaps have already been breached. The technology, the use of technology today is an excellent vehicle that brings together the people all over the world. I think that the internet is the most important resource. It is what is going to probably democratize education. It's going to create this opportunity um, for people to find resources, find courses, find experts, expertise, get feedback, find problem sets. Much like, you know, 400 years ago, people may have said the printing press. But today I would say it's the internet. But for people to learn new knowledge, and gain new skills, communication is the key thing. Communication between teacher and child, between pupil and pupil, between student and parent. If children have the communication skills that they need to equip them for life, they'll also have the learning skills. Education um, has to work with all of the current problems of our societies and find ways to deal with them. But in the long run, education is potentially the answer. Citizenship education, moral education at the onset, particularly at the basic level. I think the issue of security, which will confront us later in life, will be adequately taken care of. That's my vision. That's the way I see it. You have to start early to start solving the problems of security by training the children early enough to respect human rights, to respect individual rights. And if we do that, We'll get along with that more. Good uh, education and quality education Education is the best uh, vaccine against um, all kind of uh, radicalization. Education is the best investment any nation uh, can make. I think every child has the right to be educated in a safe uh, environment. So of course that means physical security. Uh, and sadly we do see that there are sometimes attacks on the most vulnerable, including those uh, in schools. But it's also about uh, safety in the form of having that ability to explore different ideas. Security is an essential condition for good education, but good education is also a very, very important foundation for security. Now, those people who look at issues around radicalism, security, only through the mindset of you know, safety and uh, are cutting it way too short. It's building the right skills, building the foundations of people. And this is about, you know, economic progress. It's about social cohesion. It's about the capacity of people to collaborate, compete and connect in ways that drive their economies forward. That's an absolutely essential foundation. Ir be švietimo nėra nei medicinos, nėra nei ekonomikos, nėra valstybės. 
jeigu gera švietimas, stipri ir graži valstybė, dėl to, kad viskas gimsta čia. Pradžių pradžia yra švietimas. Lebanon komitėt to give the education opportunity, to give a seat to every child. In two years, we increased the capacity of enrollment by 300%. We have now around 45% of our public education uh, system uh, with refugees. And that's why we're trying to, uh, to provide a safe space in schools for children. By providing also programs of psychosocial support, we would like to see every child living in peace. And this is what we're trying to provide in the education system. Education uh, could help greatly in spreading security all over the uh, world in general. Educated people is not like ignorant people. Educated people who can uh, communicate to each other, who can transform ideas, uh, who can use their, their brains to solve problems rather than uh, to use weapons or something like that. It is also about uh, using education as a vehicle for values and humanitarian values. Values of self-esteem, respect for the other, tolerance, peace, solidarity, compassion, which is also the best way to prevent people from repeating you know, the same kind of hardships that they have experienced and have an opportunity to move on and recover their dignity and contributing into a better world.